long hair. Let me see. Yeah, truck of long hair don't care. Long hair. Uh, long. That says John Don't. Wait. Nah, that's not it. Uh, is it is it some apostrophes or something like that? How? Yeah, yeah. Um, trucker. Then it's like the space at the bottom, not not the space, but it's like the line at the bottom. All right, hold on. Trucker, trucker. the line, long okay. hair, long, long hair. One word. Hair. Oh, okay, Georgia. Yeah, yeah, one word. No space. All right, Georgia Peach. There you go. Follow. Yeah. Oh, I think you already following me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm already following. You. Oh, yeah. You already follow. Yeah, me. You got to follow me back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I get. Yeah, I'm following you. Yeah. Back. Okay. Yeah, like I say, I'm a, I'm a, um, you know, put more, you know, um, things that I see. It ain't much to see out here where they're keeping me at. But yeah, I'm gonna try to, you know, get better with, you know, just posting on my page. And I got to, I got to, you know, come out, come out these comfort zone that I'm in and, and get my YouTube thing. Hold, hold, hold up, hold up, peaches. You, is is this the same woman with the makeup on? Is that you? Yes. <laughs> That is not yeah, that, that is not you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah now yeah, the one me, with the me. now now the other one with your with your cap on. That's you. That's You're right. That's right, you. Right. Yeah, that's you that's right the there. Everyday me. That's right. you. Yeah, that's the everyday me. What is yeah. what what happened? Wait. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't. I, I think we should have talked about this before we did the um before we did the interview. But yeah, no, no, no. Me, we can um, still we can we can still go. Hold on, I can I can add this in. Hold on, right quick. Hold on. <laughs> let, me, let me make. Uh, hold on. Okay. Yeah, I can I can add this in. I can like I can like put this in the in the middle part. <laughs> but uh, I am I ah! am shocked of of uh <laughs> trucker long hair don't care. This beautiful female, yeah. this she's still beautiful regardless, regardless of the fact. She is <laughs> still you. she's still a Thank beautiful you. female. But right here, right here, it's like it's it's like whoa, like whoa. So <laughs> peaches, man. All right, here here's the other one. This this is everyday peaches right here. Now everybody don't 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 look. If y'all come at, if y'all come after this female in the fucking comments, I'm gonna shut you down. Period. Yeah. What's going on, everybody? Lockout man back again with another podcast interview for you guys. Yo, I'm I'm hoping. And praying that you guys really enjoy this type of content that I'm bringing to you. The no drama, education, uh, whatever you guys want to call it, man. But that's what I do. I come on, bring y'all some good stuff right here. Well, I do have an interview for you guys. You know what I'm saying? This uh, young lady, you know, we've been tagging, tagging, tagging. Finally, she's here. She's now, you know what I'm saying? I like to welcome Trucker Long Hair to the show. What's going on, Trucker Long Hair? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on with you? How you how you doing? How you be? How you feel? I'm 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 good. I'm good. I'm good. All right. know, I have my days out here. My All right. That's part of trucking. Now you know I came across you. I I seen uh I seen your videos, um, and uh, to be honest with you, I'm I'm really intrigued by by your videos, man. Especially the the, the your name. Your you you your tag is Trucker Long Hair. What <laughs> what what about that? What what about that name that has you so uh that that makes you so unique with, with that name? Uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's self-explanatory. Like, you know, stroke of long hair don't kill, you know. <laughs> I mean, my hair is long, so, you know, I just put the don't care with it, but I'm not a, you know, don't care person. But, yeah, it's, it's, it's just something I call myself. But a lot of people um, know me as Peaches. 
Uh, they peaches, all, Georgia peach, yeah. Georgia peach, peaches. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, now your now the, your your channel name is your channel name is is the same, ain't it? Uh, trucker long hair don't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, long hair, don't care. I was trying to find it and I can't come across it. So is it trucker long? Is it is trucker long hair? Don't care. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm still. Yeah, I only have like um like one video, and I think I uploaded that video like last year in September when I was in um orientation. So I haven't, I haven't done another video. I've been like procrastinating about it. I don't know what I'm scared of. But yeah, I said I wanted to, you know, I guess because I don't know how to just edit yet and, and, and do all the other stuff. So, man, don't, yeah. don't, don't be afraid. Don't, don't be afraid of YouTube, man. You got, you got your, you got your, uh, you, you got your phone, right? You, you got your phone. Uh -huh. That's all you need. You know, there's a lot of editing. There's a lot of editing software or a lot of editing apps on the phone. Right. You know that that a lot of that a lot of drivers uh, use these days. Me personally, I, mm -hmm. I'm not a I'm not a fan of of using editing apps on a small screen. I, I had to have I had to have my computer <laughs> and mm -hmm. another monitor along with my editing programs to actually do mm -hmm. uh, what I need to do out here, man. So, mm -hmm. all right, so Peaches, man, go ahead and introduce yourself and let uh let the listeners know who you are. Um, like I said, you know, um, I go by the name of Peaches, Georgia Peach, truck long hair, don't care whatever, you know, whatever you want to call me. Um, I've been out here on the road what seven months. Um, okay, I'm not so going New Jack. Just yeah, 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 I am. Um, I'm not gonna say the company's name that I'm with just yet, but I mean, as far as the company, like they are all right. But like I said in the beginning, you know, I have my days out here with the um the weekend dispatcher, especially and um the fleet manager that I had to begin with. Like me and her had got into you know like a a small argument and that didn't turn out too good. But now, um, last past what two weeks. Mm -hmm. Um, I have another fleet manager and he seems like a, a pretty, pretty decent guy. So I don't know, you know, I just, I, I, I really just, you know, want to get my experience with this company and then hopefully, you know, go, um, on a dedicated or a regional run. Okay. Okay. But, but, but I, you, you I, still I mean, haven't, you still haven't even told uh, about yourself. We, we need to know about yourself, not the company. Uh, I mean, yeah, yourself. I mean, where um, you, you know, where, yeah, you, where you I from? Mean, I'm just, <laughs> yeah, I well, I was I was I was born in Georgia. Okay. I was born, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I missed up. I was born in Florida, but I was raised in Georgia. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, you know, I'm just I'm just a laid back person, man. You know, I'm 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 you know, always to myself, you know. Mm -hmm. Um I don't I don't, you know, just but even before I got in trucking, you know what I'm saying, like the crowd wasn't like, wasn't my thing. I always, you know, been like real family oriented and just you know to myself just you know trying to trying to find myself and you know do what i gotta do because i mean i'm getting older i'm not getting any younger so nah, we, you, so you're, you're right about that you know, man you're right about that we're not getting younger at all man we we are right, getting right we are getting older out here and you know and we gotta take we gotta take the experiences that we get that we get yes that's 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 how it is man you know Cause you can't turn back the clock. Yeah. You, you can't turn nah, back the clock. No, you can't. You know. I wish you and could. I, I mean, I never, I never, I never been a person that you know. What I'm saying like a bad person that you know I always got into trouble and everything. It was just like you know, um, I just you know I, I was just in a in a in a place where I wasn't really happy. You know, I was I was down a lot. I was depressed. You know, before I started driving, mm -hmm. you know, I was depressed and I just wasn't happy with myself. So you know. Mm -hmm. Once I once I finally got to my breaking point and just you know got out and did something that I always wanted to do, then you know I'm I'm, I'm more you know what I'm saying at a at a, a a better better self than what I was. How was it? How you said you was born in Florida, so right. How how long was it uh, after you was born before you moved up to Georgia? Oh, I was like um three. I was three months because my mama had me at a young age, and um, my auntie, my auntie raised me. Mm -hmm. She got me when I was three months, and you know, she raised me. <laughs> okay, so you so but that's why so, you know if you if you look if you look at my um 
my YouTube page or whatever, you know, because today Mother's Day. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Um, shout out to all the oh, mothers. Oh, yeah. Shout out. out. Yeah, definitely um, shout out to all the mothers for Mother's Day today. That's what's up. That's what's yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Are, are um, you uh, are you no, a mother? Are you, are you a mother? No, 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 I'm not. Are no, you, I'm not. Are I'm you not. not. You're not a mother yet? Not, not no. yet? Not yet? No, not yet. I thought about it, but <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. Well, you're going to, if, if, if motherhood should strike, uh, should, Mm -hmm. should strike, are you going to continue, are you going to continue being a truck driver? Um, I mean, I, I, that's something I really haven't thought about, but I mean, yeah, I mean, why not? Because I mean, if, if, if I do, I mean, I have that support. Okay, that's what's up. Yeah, yeah, I definitely have support. Oh, okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. Um. so growing up in Georgia, man, uh, what 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 was life like for young peaches in Georgia? Um, I mean, it was nice. Like I'm from like some of the country, country. So mm-hmm. I mean, like a population of maybe twelve hundred, if that many. I mean, like it's so laid back to where like it's still today. Um, I mean, like you, we don't have like people getting killed. You know, if somebody get killed, they probably like one time a year. You can literally like go in the store, leave your doors unlocked, leave your car running. You can, you know, leave your house unlocked all night. I mean, okay. you know, I stay in a town like that. It's it's not a bad town at all. And you know, it was like um, like I said, I was you know just depressed a lot. You know, just down and out before I started driving trucks, just because you, you know it was so small that you- I. Was, what you had I'm sorry, to go ahead. What, what, what you had to be depressed about it? I mean, it was it it was it was more of you know what I'm saying my job and it was just like it just like I was I was feeling myself as you know being young as I am you know it was just like it's like this is it's more to life than just this right so yeah yeah that's what you you had to come you, you had to come you had to come up out of that depression right you didn't have to do you didn't have to do no medicines or anything like that no, to, no, no, to come no, up no, out no, of your no. depression right no 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 way no way okay all right cool no, because I you know dep- you know depression do run rampant in the trucking community though because you you're spending uh long hours by yourself and you know you you're only there with your thoughts what do you what do you do to com- right. what do you, what do you do to combat that? Um, I mean, I read, I read, I, I I talk on the phone, you know, with my family, and you know, I I think a lot anyway. So yeah, I just you know find stuff to do to occupy my time. Like I say, I always been a loner, so I mean, just being in the truck really don't bother me. Like you know, some people, I guess. All right. So when did you when did you know when did you knew that you that you wanted to be a truck driver i mean you know you said you just got into the game you've only been in the game for uh for eight months so prior to that what you was doing and when did you knew that you wanted to be a truck driver um i knew back in what i graduated in 07 so i say my first job was in 07 so yeah you know like um i used to work for the city of um arlington and i used to see a lot of you know trucks go by and and, you know, it just it, it it just spiked my interest. And then my father, he drove for like eighteen years. Okay, and I rode so, with him one time. And, so would you say your father is your inspiration? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, my father and my um stepdad as well. So, you know. Okay. Yeah, okay. they um yeah, I talk I talk to them a lot about, you know, just to keep me on the on the right track and, you know, for so us going about doing this and about doing that, they they keep me going. Okay, that's what's up. So do you still talk? But yeah, you, before I started. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, you go ahead. Go ahead. Before I um before I started driving trucks, I was working. I know you probably don't know, but I was working like in a um in a chicken plant. <laughs> you oh, okay. heard of that? Like okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, what, was, was, what was working in the what what you was doing in the uh, chicken plant? <laughs> I used to what we call it is um cut shoulders. Is is um. It's like you on a, a a processing line, and you know the line is is constantly moving, and you know you keeping up with the line, and you know we do like um like you know chicken, like every part of the chicken, you know. And I was I was doing that, I was doing that for like four year uh four years, and so, it's oh uh, man. So that so you so you was in a plant where they was actually uh 
bringing the live chickens to the plant and yes, then they get yes. yeah. they get they get processed so in other words it's another word for a slaughterhouse that's that's where yeah that's where you was rocking out at yeah yeah basically yeah oh my god take me take, yeah take yeah. me through I, you know i i've seen it on tv and all like that mm-hmm. you know we get the end result of the chicken <laughs> yeah. I I never I I never wanted I never want to see the process to get the end result of the chicken. But in <laughs> in so many in in so many terms take me through the process of the of the chicken. When it come in, um, I, when it come in, do they actually do they start with the head and let it run around or what yeah, yeah, they do. I mean, like it's it's different departments in the um chicken plant. It's like um they get the chickens live, uh-huh. and um yeah, they they they. I don't know what they do back there because I never worked in that department. But yeah, they get the chicken live, and you know they get the um the chicken feet, the gizzards, the liver, and you know uh in the department that I was working in, like I say, you know you hang the um chicken on the cone line and um I mean you cut you cut the um the shoulder of the chicken which you know is the breast of the chicken. You cut the wing off, um mm. it goes down the line, you know, and it's mm. constantly moving at a you know at a steady pace. So, you know, you have to be like a fast pacing person, you know, to keep up with this line and you do the um the tenders and you know, it's it, it, it's it's an amazing, you know, just to just to watch it. You know, if, if I mean if you could put it up on YouTube, you say you've seen it, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I, I, yeah. I've seen, I, I, I seen the, I've seen the process. Of course, I didn't watch it all the way through. <laughs> because, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you but, know, because like I, mean, I said, it, just, it just, you know, we, we, we're humans. We're satisfied with the end result of, of, uh-huh. of the chicken. When you go to the store and you know you get your, you know, your chicken breast, your chicken legs, yeah, your yeah, chicken yeah, wings. That's- and, yeah, like well, that. I was it. We did all that. So, oh man, yeah. so it was. So it, I mean, was yeah, so it was each. It's each part of the chicken was was each part of a line. Um, no, like you actually, they got a um assembly line of maybe uh, it depend on the um the plant. Um, maybe probably like fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, or whatever. It used to be more than that, but yeah about 16 people on the line and you know they got two people that uh really do the same thing two what, people that you know do the breast what was what two was, people that cut off the right wing another person that cut out the left wing and you know so forth <laughs> Pl- plenty of blood plenty of blood no not not really not 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 in the department that i was in in the live um live hanging um part yeah i'm pretty sure like I don't hear guys say the birds actually boo boo on them because they have to catch the birds while they're alive. Oh my god! So yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh man, I did. Yeah. It was a fun time, fun time. How long you? How long you was there? And and what made you decide to leave the industry? Um, I was there uh, four years, and um, I mean, I just got tired because you're standing up on your feet all day. You got somebody, you know what I'm saying, basically standing behind you telling you, you know what I'm saying, you got to wait to go to the restroom and, you know, you got you, supervisors constantly walking by saying that you're doing this right, doing that right. And what what, what really got me was I had, um, I became a line leader and I was a line leader like three months before um, they ended up taking my jacket. And that was like, you know, that hurted me because of the situation. You know, the situation was like real, real, real crazy. And um, yeah, that was like my breaking point. So I was like, you know what? I'm more than this. You know what I'm saying? I'm tired of tired of coming here. And I like, I hated the job. I, I did. Like, I really, really hated the job. I used to get butterflies every time I pull into the into the um, facility just to go in. So, so was it was it Smithfield that? That's that's the plant that you worked in, or what, what was the name of the plant? No, it was um Keystone, Keystone in um Camilla, Georgia. Okay, so I you you just mentioned that you said you had to ask for permission to use the bathroom. Uh, oh yeah, con- oh, yeah. Conditions there for for an employees. You want you you would say that it wasn't the best condition for the employees work wise. No, no. 
no, but how about the, not for me. How, how about the money? Was the money good? I mean, um, to me, no. But you know, I mean, the cost of living. You know, where I told you I was living on, where I was staying, like that's that's you know that's 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 decent because the cost of living is like real cheap. Well, well, um, Okay, so I I just pulled up this video. Uh, this was mm-hmm. this is from uh 2018, and uh-huh. the dude, one of the workers that worked at a that is at a Smith, I mean at a Smithfield meat plant. And as a matter of fact, you guys know Smithfield was one of the plants that got hit with the C19. But in the mm-hmm. video, in the video, it shows this dude. Hold on, let me bring it up. It shows this dude right here urinating on the line. Urinating on the production line. Video appears to show the employee take off his gloves (laughs) and urinate on the line. The employee then puts his gloves back on and continues to work. (laughs) Oh, wow. Wow. I mean, dude, I mean, so was it was it like that? I mean, was it was was conditions that bad to the fact that the that you couldn't get off the line when you need to get off the line and you had to turn around and 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 use the restroom? Mm, I mean, for me, no, because I mean, you know, at the end of the day, you know, if you got to go to the bathroom, you know, I don't I don't care how many birds go down the line. I'm going to go to the you know, I'm going to go to the restroom. But no, I mean, like in the, in, the, in the plant that I was at, no, we we no, nobody never done that. You just walk out the line and go to the bathroom before somebody do that. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, because like you know, yeah. like in places like China, you know, where <laughs> in places like China, I I I'm not sure if it was China or not, but I I seen this movie that uh it it was it was a it was a car it was a car. It was a car plant in America, but it was owned by Chinese and they wanted their employees to like work, 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 work. If you had to use the bathroom, Mm -hmm. they had like a big jar on the side of them and they would use the bathroom in the jar and then continue to work. No, that's that's nasty. No, it's not like that at my um. Well, I was working at no. Now, it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't that bad. Now you know the brain. Now the brain that type of mentality into the trucking field. Now you know. Now, I'm not sure for the female drivers, but you know us male yeah. drivers, we can we can relieve ourselves while we're still driving. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. But I but, mean, but there's there's women, tools. You know, yeah, there's tools for there's tools. Like on Amazon that you can, I think they got one for the women too. That it's on Amazon that you can, you know, for a woman she could, you know, put it up, you know. But I don't know for a woman, you you literally have to do a little bit of work to get yourself undone. At least with a man, he could flip his shit out, flip yeah, his shit yeah, back it's in, easy and keep going. To y'all. Yeah, right. Keep, yeah, keep it's, going. it's easy access. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, for 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 women out here trucking, yeah, it's it's it's, it's more to it. But nah, nah, I see I seen the um the little things that they have up there for the women. But nah, I try to I try to um you know stay close to 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 a rest area or to a truck stop. Okay, so that I can use the bathroom. Now it have it have it have been times where um oh, I got a call. It um it have been times where you know I don't had to you know probably park at a rest area mm-hmm. and you know I don't I don't I don't deal with the rest areas like I I really don't. Why not? And it don't been times. I mean because it's, it's just like creepy to me and being a female out here in this industry it's just like you know we have to constantly you know what I'm saying watch ourselves you know you know just just watch ourselves and protect ourselves and just you know going going to a rest area and getting out your truck you know 12 1 2 o'clock in the morning i don't think that's safe okay you know, so, okay i mean so, you know you have to so, you have to do what you have to do so you so you feel so so you you more of a truck stop type of driver than than uh, yeah a yeah yeah area, yeah a rest area yes, type yes. Of when i yeah yeah when i shut down you know i try to like i said there's been times where i don't had to um Stop at a rest area. Matter of fact, I was parked at the rest area for like like two days before I got here to this um truck stop. 
But um, it was it was real secure. It's the um rest area in Delaware, and they got like mm-hmm. security and all that. So I felt a little safe there. But a lot of them that I have uh, went to, like they creepy. Like nah, I'm not getting out my truck. I'm all right. All right. So so you only been in the game for eight months. Uh, is mm-hmm. it you you talking about eight months present, right? You you still you still new into the game, right? Right, right. Okay. So being that you uh being that you new into the game, you you went to uh you went to a company that uh that gave you, you know, to get your that get your foot wet. Was that particular company mm-hmm. was that particular company your first company that I mean was was the first company that you thought of or did you have any options before you sat I mean before you settled with the company where you at? Um, no, I re- I thought about the company. That's before I um even started, you know, before I attended um school. Um What's... I thought about this company. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. I was gonna say what's what school what did did that well let me ask you this. Let me rephrase the question. Did the it, the company that you're with now, did they pay for your schooling? Did they pay for your CDLs? Um, no, I mean they do um school reimbursement, but um you know, I went to school in um Orlando, Florida, Roadmaster. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, oh, okay. yeah, that's 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 a that's a great school. I recommend anybody that want to get their license to to go to Roadmaster. I I don't know about the Roadmasters, you know, in the other states, but in Orlando, like they have great teachers. Now, Ro- now you know Roadmaster is owned by Warner, or at least I don't Warner, think you, I, right? I don't right. think you. Yep. Knew, I don't think you probably knew that before going in, but I did. But uh, but but while you at school. Did did the company did the did the company or companies come to the school to vet you guys, and that's how you got yeah. with the uh, with the current company where you at? Well, no, while I was in school, um, they actually had a, a, a Warner guy to um come out and you know try to you know get everybody to go to Warner, but I had had um heard so many things about Warner, so I was <laughs> like, nah, nah. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't, yeah. And actually, I had I had something on my license. So um, I did. I did call Warner and um, try to get with them, but they told me like, "No, nah, you got this on your license, so we can't take you." So I actually called like, I tried to get with um, Snyder's and Knight before I got with this company that I'm with now, and they 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 gave me a run around saying, "Okay, you got this on your license." I'm like, "No, I do not," you know. So as I got tired of you know fighting. And, all that with them. I what, called this company and what was it? What was it on your license that they that they gave you the runaround for? I had a um I had a um DUI in 2015. Uh see, man, come on now. Come on, come yeah, on, trucker. Yeah. Come on, trucker. You getting yeah, in, you getting yeah. into the, but, you getting into the field. That's one that's that's one thing they're gonna definitely look at. Now you say you had it in 2015. So yeah. you still let me see. 19 oh that was that's five years ago they still right, they, right. they were yeah, still was, giving you the run around from five years ago on the yeah, oh, yeah, oh wait a getting, minute wait a minute i think yeah i i think a dui has to be yeah i think five it, years yeah dui has to be five years yeah so i, I yeah 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 but uh but they that you know snyder uh snyder knight uh, Warner, Warner. I'm, I'm surprised Warner gave you the runaround. I can understand Knight and Snyder, you know, because Snyder is like fucking boot camp. <laughs> you know, it's it's like truckers boot camp over there. I mean, but to be honest really? with you, yeah. But to be honest with you, if you go to Snyder, they going to teach you the ins and outs of a truck. I kid you not. Mm-hmm. I I kid you not. If you coming out of school going into going into Snyder, uh, Snyder, uh, you know their their training program, they got a good training program over there. They really do. Um, mm-hmm. You know, you you'll be it, it's with them. It'll be like you're actually back in school. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What uh, you're yeah. actually back in school. So. But uh, but they gave you the run. They 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 gave you the run around. So, uh, you was up front with the current company where you was where you at now, and they just they they said oh they said okay and 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 brought you in. Yeah, yeah, they did. 
Okay. 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 Yeah. All right. So, uh, so during the schooling, did, did, did you, did you pay for it out of pocket or how, how did you, uh, how did you pay for the, for the schooling? Because if you, if, you know, if you didn't go with Warner, because of course Warner would have paid for the, you know, would have paid for your school, but you know, was, was did this come out of pocket or grant or loan? What's, what's the deal? Yeah. Yeah. I did. Um, I did the loan. Oh, okay. Okay. So you are, so, yeah. so the company you with now is reimbursing you. If I'm not mistaken, they it are, well, I know when I was getting reimbursed with said company, they was only giving me like $150 a month. Are they still, yeah, yeah. are they it's, still getting, it's, it's, giving um, 200. You, oh, they, they upped it to $200 a month for reimbursement. Yeah, yeah, it's two hundred. It's still garbage, though. I, I was, I yeah. was, I was lightweight pissed when they came in and told me they was like, "Hey, we reimburse you, uh, we we reimburse your tuition." I was like, "Fuck yeah!" I said, "I just got finished paying five thousand, <laughs> five thousand yeah. six hundred dollars. I'm gonna get that yeah, on my first yeah. check. I got, I got my first check, and it was like two, it was like a hundred and fifty dollars. I was like, yeah, yeah." I was like, wait a minute. It, is this $150 a month? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So three years I will be paid out for my tuition reimbursement? Are you serious? Yeah. It was like, yeah, yeah. It, was, it was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, motherfucker, you you could keep that. Sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it do yeah, help. So they, I mean, they, they, yeah, it helps. It, it, it helps. Like I say, you know, it's, it's 200 a month that they pay, but, you know, I pay more. I pay more to, you know, go ahead and, and, and pay them back and get it over with. Oh, okay. Which I'm, I, I wanted. I wanted to pay for it out of my pocket, but, um, I mean, like, I wasn't, I wasn't, like, you know, financially able at the time because I left, I left my, um, my job mm -hmm. up a couple of months before I, before I, um, started school. So I had, I had, I had got real low on cash. So, I wasn't able to, so so yeah. you so you and was I mean, one you know, by, so you was one hundred. You 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 knew that. I mean, I I know that uh, for me it was like it wasn't the last resort, but you mm -hmm. knew you you knew that you had to put your heart into get. I mean, into doing this to be successful, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah, most definitely. It, it was it was like you know. um, once I gave my job, you know, my two two months, because I had been telling everybody, like, man, you know, I'm getting tired of this. Everybody always walk around and say they're getting tired of the job, this and that. So I was, you know, I used to, you know, tell the people that, you know, I was cool with um, that, man, I'm, you know, I'm fit to do this, I'm fit to do that. So it was just like, once I did it, you know what I'm saying? Everybody was like, wow, you know, because um, when I when I gave my supervisor my two weeks notice, you know, where it got out, like, you know, um, Peachy said she fit to leave, you know what I'm saying, in, 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 in a, a week or two. So it was just like it wasn't no turning back. So I had to, you know, like go to school and pass. I, you know, I had to. Right. So you definitely. Yeah. So you definitely put your faith. You know, you put your 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 foot into faith, and you actually yeah. uh yeah. you actually got you actually got through it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I that's, that's and I had been talking about it for so up. long. So it was just like. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what's yeah. Up. It was. It was like. It was like, you know, I knew I, I had faith in myself because, like I said, this is something that I always wanted to do. So I, I knew I was going to pass it. I knew it. I just I just had it in me, you know. Okay, that's what's up. I, I didn't have no doubts about it at all. So, um, no doubts. Even the, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I, I struggled, like, you know, when it got time to, um, you know, take the take the uh, test or whatever. I was nervous. I was, like, nervous as shit. Okay, that was up. <laughs> but, um. I, I went through school um with a manual, so mm -hmm. it was like I wasn't worried about the maneuvers. I was more worried about the driving part. Oh, okay. Because you know you have to shift gears and you know mm -hmm. watch your turns and you know all this and that. Yeah, so I I, I passed that like with flying colors. 
then when it got time for me to do my maneuvers, you know, I did the straight back, I did mm-hmm. the um the offset, and then when it got time for me to do like you know the the parking in between these freaking two cones, it was just like I froze. Exactly, I froze that's how it. it is for everybody, yeah. you know. But this yeah. they they only do they you know the test is only there for you just to pass for your for your CDLs. It's it's mm-hmm. it's kind of a I don't know. It, it's kind of a like a setup for failure type deal because those cones, everything that you, everything that you learn in school, yo, throw it out the mm-hmm. window, throw it out the yep. window because your yep, experience yep. on your experience on the road, that's where, that's where the real schooling is going to be right uh-huh. there. The, uh-huh. what you did in uh-huh. school was just get you ready for your CDL license. After that, yep you actually going out with a trainer with, with a company that's going to get you ready to drive. That's, that's where the Mm -hmm. school actually starts. Now don't let, don't, don't let the trainer treat you like a, you know, treat you like any old thing, but still, you know, it's, it's, you're there, you dare to, you dare to learn the company and you dare to learn how to drive. So, or to drive, to drive safely. All right, so yeah, so truck along here. You uh, you you uh, are are you a YouTuber? I mean, you know, you 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 do uh, you you did the one video. So, mm-hmm. is there anybody on YouTube that you that you that you watch? Any anybody that that you like to uh, anybody that you uh, that that you follow oh. in in trucking? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a it's a, it's a, it's a quite a few that you know. I ride and you know listen to videos. Yeah, yeah. it's quite a few. Oh, okay, okay. I'm hope I'm one of them. <laughs> oh yeah, most definitely. <laughs> I think you was like one of the uh, one of the first channels that I actually came across. Okay, and then okay. that was, that's that's earlier when you was doing the um you was calling the companies and you know yeah. that 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 helped you know that helped a lot of people out. Yeah, I'm glad that you do that. It helped a lot of people out. Yeah, I uh I when I when I did that I I, I thanked everybody for supporting that. But now I switch it around. I got you know I do what I do now is called exposed. You know what i'm saying mm-hmm. i actually call you guys or i have you guys to call in to me or you know send me an email lockoutmen at gmail.com and mm-hmm. you know let me know the company that y'all work for or worked for you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. and and let me know about that let me know about that company you know what I'm saying? Is it a good company? Is mm-hmm. it a bad company? Is it an ugly company? You guys tell me. You know what I'm saying? Because, of course, you know, talking to the recruiters, they just going to tell me what I want to hear. You see what I'm saying? They're going to tell, right. they, they just want to tell me what I want to hear. At least getting it from the driver, from a driver's perspective, you know, I can, I can actually vet the driver, good, the bad, and the ugly. So. So yeah, mm-hmm. I, I um, I uh, I uh, started it that way. Um, ooh, yeah. Hold on, right quick. Hold on. Why? Why is it? Ooh, hold on. Okay. All right. I I had uh I had to reset my phone. All right. So um. Uh-huh. All right. So. Let me let me let me ask you. Let's let's uh let's uh get personal. Now I noticed that uh, excuse me. I noticed that you have a a gang of tattoos. <laughs> uh, no, not really, not really. <laughs> so you so you so so you so you're a fan. Of the, you you're you're a fan of the tattoo life. How many tattoos you got uh, all together? I think it's uh one two. I think like seven. Yeah, I don't have that many. But no, I'm 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 not a fan of tattoos. I actually want the tattoo that's on my arm. I have the um the laugh now cry later on um, face and I have um pray more will relief. I like the pray more will relief, but I don't like how the artist did it because I, I, I got um the tattoo when I was younger, so mm-hmm. you know, it, it wasn't like it's not professional as I, you know, would want it to be. So So you you, I, you, I really you went to a you, you went to a house party and 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 a tattoo 
artist was there and you got it done there, huh? Yeah. No, <laughs> no, not really. I mean, I went to a tattoo shop, but like I say, they not professional as you know, a lot of, a lot of other um, artists. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I have seven tattoos. I have um, Gemini across my um, chest. That's, that's, that's like my um, favorite. I wouldn't remove that one for nothing. Um, I have both of my um, mom's poetry on each um, mm-hmm. one of my shoulders. Um, I have my name on the back of my neck. And yeah, like I say, pray more, really, really less, to, um, laugh now, cry later. And I got one on my arm, um, on my leg. That's my own friend's name. <laughs> so what's your, yeah. so, so what's your, what's your, uh, what's your trucker status out here? You, you, you're married, single, you, you significant other. What's, what's, what's your, what's your status out yeah, here? Yeah. Yeah. I, I've, I'm, I'm, I'm in a relationship. Um, I have been for 15 years. <laughs> okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. So how how's how, how how they how how they taking uh how they taking you, you know, being over the or being over the road for, you know, weeks or weeks at a time? Um, I mean, you know, it it, it get hell for, you know, anybody that have a, you know, a mate and they out here on the road, but all in all, you know, I mean, it's it's it's, it's okay, you know. They they knew you know what I'm saying what I wanted to do and you know so they 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 support me I mean it, it's not that bad it's okay, not that bad okay, like okay. I say I know a lot of people say you know like trucking can you know like ruin your relationship and yeah. all this and that I think is you know yeah it, it depends on the person that you with you know they have to be an understanding person if they're not an understanding person and you know every time they get lonely then they gonna get the you know, bitching and, you know, whatever, whatever, then, you know, mm-hmm. that's going to be a problem for them and for you as well, you know, mm-hmm. because if that, if, if that's the case, then you're going to be, you know, oh, I got to get back home. I got to do this. I got to do that. But if you got somebody that's laid back and that's um, understanding, then, you know, so that's, it'll be, it'll be easier, you know, for you. But you've been, since you've been in a, been in a relationship with, 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 with your mate for 15 years, that that's you know you being gone away they they pretty much understand you this is for like new people that's like starting a new relationship that will probably hurt more to them than yeah than right you. right right yeah 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 okay yeah that's right all right so what yeah, if you're in a new relationship then yeah i think i think it'll be i don't know i don't think it'll work <laughs> <laughs> so what hurdles did you what what hurdles did you what Along the way, you know, you you're coming into you know you coming into in, into trucking. What were, what were some of the hurdles that you face, and how did you how did you overcome them? Um, none. I mean, like I had a good trainer. Like you know, she 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 was really good. So I mean, nothing. I, I haven't, and I know it's probably crazy for me to say that, but I I really haven't had like no problems out here like everything had really been you know like a, a a smooth smooth ride for me okay a smooth ride you know just besides you know the company and 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 um dispatchers or whatever like yeah so the and tr- i you know the only only problem that i have um gotten myself into was um they sent me to philadelphia and i missed my turn and went up under a low bridge <sighs> yep i went up you you tore you, 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 you tore up something or no 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 no, you, you no, no. Went, oh okay okay you okay no no I didn't um I missed my turn because the road that it was telling me to on the GPS was telling me to turn down mm-hmm. I was looking like no way like if I make this turn I'm gonna take these cars with me so right. instead of making that turn I kept straight. Oh, and okay. when I kept straight, I was up under a bridge. And as I was looking ahead of me, I was seeing that the pavement, the road pavement was going up. And I was like, there's no way. If I keep going, like, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tear the top of this freaking trailer up. I can't. So I stopped. Mm-hmm. And I um I called the company and told them, like, look, I'm going to be late for this appointment. And, you know, whatever, whatever. And I called the police. And they was actually, like, nice guys. They came out where it took them forever to came, uh, come out. Okay. I actually waited there for, like, two hours before they came out and um yeah they was like uh we're not gonna give you no ticket because you didn't tell up anything the only thing you did was um hold up traffic okay and they helped me back out and they helped me make my turn on the street and um i mean like it was literally like probably 50 feet from 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 where i you know it's my turn at okay that's what my delivery was that's what's up so yeah besides 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 that like i say like um 
yeah, I haven't had any problems out here. But um, yesterday, was it the day before yesterday? It was crazy. Because mm-hmm. I stopped at a rest area, and um, this guy, he was there. He was, he was um, I think he was like a um, live stock hauler, I guess y'all call him, or something like, it was the kind of truck he was on. What what kind I didn't of truck get the he name. was on? It was like um I guess he, he probably um how like um cow manure or something like that. Oh okay, livestock. No, was, you say cow manure. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, cow manure. Like he was on one of those trucks, like a livestock truck. I guess it is. Oh okay. Uh, yeah, he he was on a truck like that. But anyway, he was um he was already at the rest area when I um got there, and as soon as I parked, like two minutes, two two seconds after I parked. He walked back to my truck and he was like, um, can you get in my truck and hold my brakes for me? I think I have an um, air leak. Okay. And I was like, yeah, I was like, I'm sorry, but I don't feel safe, you know, doing that. <laughs> and yes, yes. Oh, and as soon as I said that, like he turned red and he was like, well, I hope you don't never need help out here. And I'm like, you know. You know, I'm like, I'm sorry, but you know, I just don't feel safe, you know, doing it right. because I mean, it's so much going on with the um uh, the 19, you know, apocalypse. That's what I call it, the 19 apocalypse, and you know, just you know, the other other things that we see on TV. I'm not gonna mention it, mm-hmm. but you know, I was just like, um, you know, I'm sorry. He was like, um, so he walked like to the end of the truck, like he was gonna go to the other truck that was behind me. Then he came back and he had his phone open. You know, I guess he recorded me taking a picture. And he was like, oh, I'm going to call your company and I'm going to um, tell them. And I'm like, dude, I don't give a, you know, whatever. Like, what? You know, like, yes. And I'm because like, you didn't feel, well, I mean, you didn't feel safe. You you didn't feel safe. Yes. So, I mean, you, yeah. how, how are you going to yeah, tell how are you going to turn around and be mm-hmm. like, how are you going to turn around and be like, okay, well, just because I, you know, I, just because I didn't help you out, you, you, you're you going to get yeah. mad at me. I mean, you know, there's plenty other, I'm sure yep. there was plenty other drivers and, I mean, drivers there that he could right. probably ask. Yeah, and, and, and the thing was about that was, after he, you know what I'm saying, took the picture of recording my number on my truck in the name of the company, said he was going to call the company, he, um, it's two more other guys pulled up, older guys, they pulled up. Those guys actually got out of their truck and went into the rest area, used the restroom, then left. He didn't stop neither one of them and ask them for help. But he came to my truck and asked me for help. So I'm like, that was real strange. So, you know, of course, I called my dad and I was telling my dad about it. You know, he was like, no, you did the right thing. You know, it's, it's too much right. going on. It's too much and going they know, on. You know, you're not going to. Right. You're not going to get in his truck, you know, and, and do this, you know, like you're going to have to call somebody, you know, to, to come out and help you or ask a guy. Do not ask a female, you know what I'm saying, to, mm-hmm. to, to you know, do do such a thing, you know, mm-hmm. because I mean, like, I'm, because I'm as soon sure, as you stepped like, up in that truck or something like that, he could have just he could have just pushed you over, slammed the door and took off. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, you know, that's what I'm saying. Like, you could have asked a guy, you know, and I mean, at a time like this. You know, don't it's, it's certain things. You know, you just don't ask females to do like exactly. You no, know? and I, I I have help. I have help plenty of people out here. You know, like when I first started driving, of course, you know, you know, what I'm saying I used to be frightened mm-hmm. about going into the truck stop. You know, because I mean, my my parking wasn't you know that good. So yeah, I don't help plenty of people out here. So you know, I didn't feel bad or nothing about you know him just saying, oh, I hope you don't need help out here. You know, like whatever, dude, go ahead on. You don't know me, I don't know you. Exactly. Exactly. Well, that's yeah. that's uh, that's crazy. So right now, right. The, the how how's the company treating you doing this uh, doing this C nineteen thing? Are are y'all still are you are you are, are you still moving? Are you still getting your miles? Are you sitting? Dude, what's what's, like, what's, the, what's the deal? Listen, like it's crazy because before all this started i can say like um yeah i was constantly running constantly running and um since 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 you know this 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 thing have came about it's just like everything have been crazy like you know of course you know this america company so they still going Mm -hmm. but it's just like they they keeping like i said the fleet manager that i had she was keeping my miles to where you know i wasn't getting any miles i was getting the same miles every week Mm-hmm. the same miles every week and it's like now you know it's still like they still you know what I'm saying like keeping me at the same same amount of miles that I've been getting so it's like yeah it, it, I mean I might get a load for 
oh man, they might send me like a hundred or two hundred miles, and then that's it. And I'm like, okay, I got like a full clock. Why would y'all send me this? Like, I'm out here to make money. I'm not out here to make money for the company. I'm out, I'm not out here, you know, just to sit around at a truck stop or you know nothing like that. Like, I'm out here to make money. Like, what is y'all doing? But you know, I just, I just, I'm just going with the flow, you know, and like I say, you know, well, seven months I've been here, it, the 19th will be eight months, so I don't talk to um two other companies. So you plan, and, um, so, you know, one, so what's your plans for the future with, with, with this company? You, you going to just uh, try and rock it? Well, let me ask you this, because I, I feel that you should get uh at least two years at, at least try to squeeze. At least try to squeeze two years out of them. But if you yeah, can't, if yeah. if you can't, then at least get you uh-huh. a year and try to and try to get somewhere else that you that you feel that yeah. you're you know a lot more comfortable with. So what's right. your what's two your plan? I know, I know. Two years, I know I won't be with this company. Uh, like I say, I'm I'm counting down my days as we speak. Mm-hmm. The 19th will be eight months. The other company that I called, she told me that I have to have eight months to come to their company and, you know, get a truck on my own. So, like I say, I'm kind of down my days. And then the other company I called, I'm not going to say the name. Um, That guy told me that I need a year to go with them. So, I'm, I'm going to try to tough it out, you know what I'm saying, and do, and do my own uh, full year with this company. But, I mean, the way things are going is, is, is really not looking too good. Because I, you know, I just don't appreciate the short miles. Like I, they don't gave me miles for like, like thirty two miles in a day. Mm. Yeah, like thirty two miles in a day, and I'm like, what is this? You know, like well, they, no, they, man, you know, the, the 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 company, the company that you with, they <laughs> they they do that. They they come, they come, they sugarcoat everything, and then when you get in, you 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 get. You 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 just get you just get messed up, man. You you learn more and more about you learn more and more about the said company for new drivers. It's not always good. I mean, I was able to squeeze mm-hmm. two. I was able to squeeze two years out of out of them before before I left. And and oh, it wow. was it was. So you was experiencing the same thing that I am. Exactly. I I I've been through oh, it all. Wow. I, I I've been through it all. Oh, I so thought I, it was just me. No, nah, no, nah, it ain't just you. I've been through it. I've been through it all with them. The the low miles, getting stuck up in getting stuck up in the northeast, being a being right. a being an OTR being an OTR driver. You know, I, I I'm supposed to run the 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 48, and I only ran right. like I say maybe maybe 30, and then I, mm-hmm. I would I would get a I would get a low from down south or out east that'll bring me i mean i mean out west that'll bring me right back up in the northeast and then just get stuck there for weeks and you be calling yeah. them you be calling and calling and calling them and you be like dude what the fuck you know what i'm saying yeah and then yeah uh, so okay and then and then Wait. um and and then the main the, the the main even though a lot of people say they like it but I didn't like it. You you get stuck fucking doing TS loads. I mean, it's you after yep. you after you drop after you drop a load. Uh, we need you to go to Hagerstown, Maryland. Mm-hmm. I know mm-hmm. I, I know I I know what that's coming. Then you get a load. Mm-hmm. You get a TS load that goes to one of them motherfucking boom dot boom dot TSs. In a mid in in, mm-hmm. in no man's land, you get off the highway and you still gotta go about a hundred and fifty, about two hundred miles through the yes. back fucking woods to go up to yes. uh to go up to a TA. I mean, uh, go up to the, yep. the to the TA. So yeah, yes. I've been yep. I've been through it. Yep. I've been through it. I know what you're going yeah, through. So, like, yeah. So like I say, so you know. So I thought it was just you know like me and probably other company drivers. It's just like, mm-hmm. and I, it was crazy because like when when I had my um last fleet manager, the only thing that she had me doing was live loads, live load, live unloads, and mm-hmm. I did that. I kid you not, I did that for like three freaking months before I said something. I'm like, okay, mm-hmm. like 
this is crazy because the only thing that you was giving me is live lows. Like, as soon as I said that to her, she started giving me dropping hooks. And as soon as she switched over to, like, the LP um, side, mm-hmm. the only thing I've been getting is, like, dropping hooks. And, you know, they'll hit me with the live lows and then a dropping hook, dropping hook, live lows. But, yeah. Like, you know, that's that's it. And like I said, she was just keeping me in the in the, in like the two thousand miles, you know, a week or something like that. I haven't got more than twenty five hundred miles with this company since I've been with them. That's the most that I have got. I hear you, man. All right, truck alone yeah, so. here. Truck alone here, don't care. Peaches. Hey, before yes, we get sir. up yes, be, be, before we get up out of here, I wanna I wanna test your uh I wanna I wanna test your music knowledge. I I had a... Uh, I had other Uh-oh. I had other knowledge that I I wanted to test. I wanted to test your health knowledge. What was this? Your food and drink knowledge, but I I came down here and I said we we should do your music knowledge. 10 questions. <laughs> uh 10 questions for you. So let me see. I... Hold on right quick. Make sure I got the right one. Yeah, you said music like I like. Okay. All right. So. All right. So let's go. Number one. Hold on. You know what? We can, you know what I can, you know what we can do? Hold on right quick. Let's see. Let's bring a little bit of. Yeah, there we go. Bring a little bit of music in there in this. All right. Number one, man. Which name is rapper Sean Combs better known by? Oh man, I have no idea. Oh, um, he did it. Oh, okay. there you go. There you go. Uh, what was the name of the group Justin Timberlake used to be a part of? Um, Justin Timberlake. Um, Backstreet Boys. Um, Backstreet Boys. <laughs> <laughs> Bad Street Boys. I forgot, I forgot. I'm familiar with that name, but I forgot the all the, the uh, group that he was with. Yeah, he was. Uh, <laughs> now he wasn't with Bad Street Boys, but he, close enough. Close enough. In sync. In sync. In sync. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which musical legend is Jay Z married to? Oh, Beyonce. Everybody know that. All right. What was the name of the rock band formerly formed by Jimmy Page? Now this one. I have no me. idea. Yeah, yeah, I kind of figured. I, I, I kind of figured I'm this one. I'm not a rock fan. Yeah, Led Zeppelin. Yeah. Led Zeppelin. How many? Okay. All right. So, how many Grammys does John Legend currently have? Oh, John Legend. Um, I like his music, but I don't know how many Grammys he have. I'll guess. Guessing, I would say two, three. He has 10. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, he got wow. 10. He got 10. Oh, wow. All right. Which, Sorry, John Lady. <laughs> <laughs> which British girl group has a member by the name of Mel B? Oh, man. You killing me. I have no idea. Mel Spice B? Girls. I never heard that. Spice, Spice Girl? Girl yeah, have, you, have you heard of the Spice Girls? Nah. <laughs> you said nah. I <laughs> know. Uh-uh. All right. Here we go. What year of music did Taylor Swift start in before she went pop? Uh-huh. Oh, my God. You're going to be, um, I don't know. What's your best guess? My best guess? You said Taylor Swift? Taylor Swift. I say Two thousand. No, no, no. What year? What year? Music, country, pop. Well, before she went pop. Oh. What, what, what year she was in before she went pop? Um, I, don't know. I guess pop and rock is the same thing. Um, country. There you go. Okay, yeah. there you go. Yeah, yeah, country. Even all though right, I, right. I kind of gave, I kind of gave it away, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, which, yeah, which I was like, all right, so check this out. Which song by Louis Fritz Franzo and Daddy Yankee has the most views of all time on YouTube? Uh, yeah, you gotta give me the buzz on that one. I have no clue. <laughs> I have no clue. <laughs> 
I to be honest I with you, no I know clue. I have no clue either because I can't pronounce the damn name. Uh Des, yeah. Despacito. Despa, oh, no, Des, no, Despacito. No. All right, last one. Last one. Now are you when when were you born in? What year you was born in? 89. I'm an 80 baby. All right, so you you probably might be familiar with this one. Who was the lead singer of the iconic 80s band Culture Club? Oh man, I don't know. Culture Club. Culture that Club. That was a band? That was a band. I don't know. Boy George. I don't know who that is. You know, Boy George, yo, your mom's having no. played Culture Club back in the day. No, no. Oh, man, well, well we, we, yeah. we, we probably might have to get you some updated music trivia next time yeah, we chop yeah. it up, man. <laughs> yeah, like, like you know, where I'm from, like, they listen to a lot of, you know what I'm saying, like, old school, you know, like, Betty Wright, you know, um, yeah, R.I.P. to her, she, um, she passed today. Betty Wright, and, you know, okay. people like that, older people, Tucker and... You know, R. Kelly, of course, and you know, like old school music. Well, you know, R. Kelly, Teddy Pendergrass, you know, you, all that. You know, R. Kelly's pretty done. He's, he's, I don't think he's going to make any music where he's at. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, Chuck Alone yeah, here. They, they, they got it. Well, Chuck along here, Peaches. Thank you for coming on, sharing your uh, experience with me and my listeners, man. I really do appreciate my it. My pleasure, my pleasure. So uh, where 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 are we heading to next, man? Where where, where they got you? Uh, where they got you heading to next? Um, like I said, I'm in New Jersey now. They want me to pick up from this drop yard, um, mm-hmm. which is like a mile down the road, and I'm taking it to um Maryland, Maryland. Where I go from there, I have no clue. Wow. And that's that's not that's yeah. that's not that's not that many miles from uh Jersey right, to Maryland. Right, right. That's about right, that's that's yes, about what man. three that's about what three, four hundred miles right there? If that is not even that. Not even that? It's not even that. Yeah, right, that's crazy. That is crazy. Yep. Well, if you guys are interested in coming on to the show, don't be a stranger. You know what I'm saying? Just hit me up in the uh Gmail. Lock out me in Gmail at I mean, lockoutmenpodcast at gmail.com. You can text me. Text me. Don't call me. Because if you call me, I might not answer. But I will answer the text. 216-600-2090. Get at me. Or you can go over to Instagram. Make sure you make sure you follow me over at Instagram. Because a lot of crazy. That's where I let a lot of you guys know what's going on on YouTube from Instagram. And don't forget to don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, hit that bell and that all button, and don't you know and listen to the podcast on all your favorite podcast platforms. I am Lockout Men. I am I am your humble host, and this is Trucker Long here, Peaches. Be on the watch out for you. Be on the watch out for her, y'all. She's she's an up and comer. So again, Peaches, thank you for sharing your experience with us today, man. I really do appreciate it. You stay safe out there. Make sure you wash your hands now. That's right. I always have. I always will. You got any uh you, you got any parting tips or parting advice for anybody that's uh interested in coming into the game? Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, um, make sure it's something that, you know what I'm saying, you want to do. Like, you know, it's good money in it. But like I say, you know, it, it, it get hard at times. But, you know, you just have to stay strong, you know, and keep the faith and, you know, just be focused on what it is that you want out of life. And, you know, you, you, you'll you get through it. You'll get through it. That's what's up. That's what's and, you up. know, to the, to, the, to the women, you know, we need more women out here. We need more females out here. So, you know, don't don't be scared. To my women, you know, don't don't be discouraged. You know, if it's something that you want to do, do it. That's what's up. That's what's up. Wise words coming from a wise female. Trucker, trucker long here, don't care. That's what's up. On that note, we are gone. Man, thanks for coming on, man. I really do appreciate it. Yeah, 
Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks for having me on. You're very welcome.